Hello once again. Uh, this is a continuation for lesson in module 2, week 2. So it's all about arithmetic means. So what is an arithmetic mean? Arithmetic means are the terms inserted between the first and the last term. I repeat, it's the terms being inserted between the first and the last term. So I will be showing it to you on how we do it. Like for example, insert three arithmetic means between 8 and 16. The 8 here will represent as our first term. And then, since it says that you have to insert three arithmetic means, then there will be first, second, third. So these are the three terms that refer to the three arithmetic means. And 16 here will be our last term. Or, if you are going to notice, we already have how many terms? This is our first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So this will be our fifth term. So based on this situation, we will be looking for the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. So second term, third term, and fourth term. So how are we going to do it? We will be using our formula that we learned a while ago. And that formula is no other than a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. You have to identify all the given. That's our first step as always. So our given, we have first term. What's our first term? Very good, it's 8. Our n, if you're going to notice, we have 5 terms. So our n is 5. Next, a common difference. Do we have a common difference? No, we don't have a common difference because we don't have two succeeding terms. Sabi saya, walay gasunod nga term. So, D will be a known. Next one, we have to identify our last term. Do we have a last term? Yes, our last term is 16. With this given, we can now substitute that one in our formula. So, A sub N will become... 16, you're right, equals, the first term is 8, so this will become 8, plus n minus 1 will become, yes, that's 5 minus 1 multiplied by d. Yes, it's only d because we don't have the value of our d. Next, applying PEMDAS, we have to simplify first those inside the parentheses. So we have to simplify this one. So the rest will be copied, so this will become 16 equals 8 plus the 5 minus 1 will become 4 so multiplied by d so that will become 4d applying now since we have here constant 16 and another constant 8 they should be combined so we will be applying subtraction property of equality so this will become 16 minus 8 so 8 here will be subtracted here here and the other side. So it will become 16 minus 8 equals, this will become 4D. Since we have to solve for D, we have to simplify first 16 minus 8. So that will become, yes, it's 8 equals 4D. Solving now for D, as our common difference, applying division property of equality, we divide both sides by, yes, absolutely, by 4. So 4D divided by 4, so this will become 1, so what's left here is only D. And 8 divided by 4, the answer will become, yes, correct, it's equals to 2. So the common difference is 2. But is that the answer are we looking for in our problem? No. We are lo looking for the three arithmetic means. And we have to look for the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. So what are we going to do with the common difference D? Yes, absolutely. The common difference D will be added to our first term. Our first term is A plus 2. That will become 10. Therefore, our 10 is our second term. Next, 
since we still have to look for our third term, the second term, which is 10, add again by 2, that will become 12. So therefore, our third term is 12. Next, to get our fourth term, the, sec the third term, which is 12, add it again by 2, that will give us the answer of 14. So our fourth term is 14. So, so, the three arithmetic means between 8 and 16 are 10, 12, and 14. I hope you got that. Don't forget the same with what we did. We just use our formula. But in this case, we have to solve first for the common difference. And since we already know the common difference, that's the time you're going to add it to our first term. So, if your teacher asks you to find the sum of this kind of problem, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 55 plus 56 plus dot 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 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100. How are you going to answer this kind of problem? Yes, it's just very easy. Why? This kind of problem was being introduced by an elementary teacher to his elementary pupil. And within seconds only, he was able to find the correct answer with this one. Do you know who is that person? He is no other than Carl Friedrich Gauss. Yes, within seconds he was able to find the sum of this number. Do you want to know how he do it? This is how he do it. He just add the first term and the last term. That will give you the answer of 101. If you're going to notice, if you're going to add also the second term and the second to the last term, still the same, the answer is 101. Still, if you're going to add the third term and the third to the last number, still the sum is 101. With this concept of his, we were able to come up with our formula. He just add the first term plus the last term. After that, multiply it to the number of pairs or you can have Number of terms divided by 2. And with this one, that's how you're going to get the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So from the problem, we are now going to get all the given. So our given will have n, of course, the number of terms. So there are how many terms we have? Very good, that's 100 terms. And our first term, that's a sub 1, our first term is 1, and then our a sub n stands for the last term, our last term is 100. So therefore, we can now use our formula using this given, so we'll have s of n equals n over 2, first term plus last term. Next, we have to do is to substitute all our given. So, this will be the sum of how many terms again? Yes, that's the sum of 100 terms. Equals n over 2. n will become 100. Divides 2. Multiplied by first term is 1. Plus last term is 100. So, that's it. Applying PEMDAS, we have to simplify first those inside the parentheses. So that will become S or sum of 100 equals. We can divide this one, that's okay. So 100 divides 2, that will become 50. Multiplied by 1 plus 100, that's equivalent to 101. So that's it. We can now multiply 50 times 101, so that's equivalent to 5,000. Therefore, 5050 is the sum of num of the arithmetic sequence 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100.
take note, we can only use this formula if we have first term and last term. I repeat, we can only use this formula, S sub N equals N over 2, multiplied by the first term plus last term, if we have first term and last term. If the problem does not have any last term, then we can have another formula. How are we going to make another formula? Of course, we're going to use our formula, the finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So this will become a sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times d. With this concept, we'll combine this one with our first formula. Then we can have, we just substitute our a sub n from our first formula. So this will become s sub n equals n over 2, of course. And then we have first term plus a sub n will be substituted to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So this will become a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Since we have already here a parenthesis, we'll use here a bracket. Then we have to simplify. So just simplify, of course, those terms that are similar. So this will become n over 2. We'll have a bracket. First term plus first term, so we have two first terms, so that will become twice of first term, plus n minus 1 times d. And this will be our other formula in finding the sum of our arithmetic sequence. We can use this formula if we have a common difference and we don't have last term. For example, Find the sum of the first 15 terms of the sequence. 9, 5, 1, negative 3, so on and so forth. Which of the formula we are going to use in finding this sum? So before that, we have to identify first our given. So what are the given? Do we have first term? Yes, our first term is 9. Do we have last term? If you're going to notice, we are until fourth term. So therefore, we don't know the last term. So we don't have last term. Do we have number of terms? Yes, we are going to look for the sum for the first 15 terms. Our n is 15. How about common difference? Do we have a common difference? Absolutely. We can get our common difference because we have succeeding terms. We just subtract. Our second term by its first term, so I repeat, second term minus the first term, so we get 5 minus 9, the answer is yes, negative 4. So with this given, which of the formula do you think we can use? The first formula? I guess no, because we don't have the last term. So we'll go with the second formula that I just introduced to you, s over n equals n over 2 multiplied by twice of first term plus n minus 1 times d. With this formula, we can now get the sum of how many terms? 15 terms. So this will become sum of 15 terms equals n over 2 will become, yes, it's 15 divided by 2 multiplied by twice of first term. Our first term is 9 plus n minus 1, we have n, which is 15, so n minus 1 will become 15 minus 1, multiplied by d, or d is negative 4. So that's it. We are done substituting all the values in our given. So next step we are going to do, we will be applying PEMDAS in simplifying the numbers. So, 15 divided by 2, that will become 7.5 multiplied by, we can now multiply 2 times 9, that is equivalent to 18, plus, of course, the difference of 15 minus 1, that is very good, that's 14 multiplied by negative 4. Applying again PEMDAS, we cannot add 18 plus 14. We have to do multiplication first before doing addition. So the rest will be copied. So this will become S 
sum of 15 equals 7.5 multiplied by, I repeat, we just copy 18, plus 14 times negative 4, that will give you, yes, that's negative 56. Okay. So therefore, again, we have to simplify first those inside the parentheses before doing the multiplication outside. So we just copy again 7.5. 18 plus negative 56, applying the rule of addition. So we just subtract. So the answer is negative 38. So that is now, so we have now 7.5 times negative 38. So final answer, we get negative 285. Therefore, negative 285 is the sum of the first 15 terms of the sequence, 9, 5, 1, negative 3, so on and so forth. That's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you. I hope you learned something today with our module on finding the sum of arithmetic sequence and arithmetic weeks. And please do subscribe in our YouTube channel, just Julie and Just Me. And please like. And if you have questions, just put it at the bottom part at the comment box. That's it. Thank you, guys.